Hello everybody, this is Lori Anderson, host for Resurrect the Republic RTR Truth Radio Broadcast and contributor for FreedomOutpost.com. I'm coming to you about the Bundy situation and the trials that are going on in Las Vegas, Nevada. Right now, as we know, the jury is still deliberating. To my knowledge, there has been no jury decision as of yet. So I'm going to give you the most update news that I do have. And hopefully soon we will be able to get a hold of John Lamb and find out if there's been any new revelations in that area. On April the 18th, which of course is today, 2017, the Free Range Report has reported that Judge Navarro was concerned enough that the jury was considering all of the possible implications that at one point she threw her arms wide then bringing them slowly back together she said that they need to guide the jurors back down to a more narrow point of view as they could be looking at sentencing implications and other extremes in other words this is not good news for the prosecution the jury is deliberating and they're doing their job which is a wonderful um, thing to see because the jury is what is protects the power of the people they are what protects us from an over intrusive government and I think they're seeing through the lies and manipulations that the federal government has actually done in this case including but not limited to uh, Daniel P Love who is known as not only being very corrupt um, he was also reprimanded for Uh, His business dealings are supposed to be working for the Bureau of Land Management and uh, got found out with his corruption with that. It was also exposed through that report that other uh, BLM agents chose to report his misdeeds uh, anonymously because they were afraid of retaliation from Daniel Love. Why is that important? Daniel Love is one of the individuals who actually went before the grand jury and issued the complaints upon all of these people yet he was not forced to testify so if you have a complainant that is in front of the grand jury you are supposed to have that complainant available on the stand but because they knew that if daniel love was on the stand it would be exposed to his corruption his manipulation his um his character would have definitely been on trial and um everybody would have seen just how excessive this person is Um, so to go forward this is good news for the defendants that doesn't mean that um, they're going to come back with not guilty but it is good news that the jury is actually deliberating and trying to find out information on certain things of course that would be why judge navarro is getting a little frustrated and getting a little bit um, melodramatic because they have done everything they can do possibly in this case to taint the case and swing it for the prosecution now I don't say that in every case however it is a fact that this judge has not only uh, gone along with but has been complicit in what appears to be a conspiracy with the prosecution in order to cover up all of the Bureau of Land Management's actions including um, aiming weaponry at unarmed citizens including putting attack dogs on pregnant women slamming cancer patients to the ground tasing individuals arresting individuals when they really do not have arrest powers in the first place all of this is very well known they also did not get it in um, uh, the judge tried everything she could do to also not get it in that the Bureau of Land Management who was allegedly there to um, get those cattle off that alleged federal property which we'll go into in a different manner in time but they were killing the cattle and put them in mass graves none of this did they want the jury to know so it is very interesting to to watch if you believe in prayer please pray for these individuals that they are found not guilty because this is a blatant violation of unalienable rights in which each and every one of you are born with and this judge will not allow a constitution in the courtroom this judge 
does not, if you have a Bible, it has to be below your waist, um, different issues, and she has even made um, comments uh, suggesting that the Constitution is not law in her court. She is the law in her court. Now, that's not exact wording, of course, but this is the type of mentality that we are dealing with. And it is imperative for everybody to understand whether you support the Bundys or whether you don't support the Bundys is irrelevant at this point. If you want your unalienable right to freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, redress of grievances, freedom of the press, if you want your right to be able to defend yourself in a trial where you're being accused of a crime and you want to be able to show the proof that you have that you're innocent, this is what's on the block. Also, your Second Amendment right, um, or actually your your rights, that's an unalienable right, but it is confirmed in the Second Amendment to the Constitution and the Bill of Rights, that is also on trial because this judge is trying to twist it now to where she is saying that just because you have a weapon on your hip and um, a officer saw you, then that consists of them feeling threatened. Whether you pulled the weapon out or not, uh, you can, you can, it can be threat and intimidation just simply because the officer saw it on your side, which as you well know is, is an attack on your unalienable rights, which is confirmed in the Second Amendment to the Constitution. And um, there's a lot of things, a lot of things that are resting on this trial that really has nothing to do with Nevada, but it does have everything to do with your unalienable rights in the courtroom. Uh, due process is being violated. Right to speedy trial is being violated. And on top of that, the right to defend yourself in the courtroom for the jury to hear the whole truth and nothing but the truth is being violated. There are so many constitutional issues right now that is being violated in this court, and I am shocked that most people are not speaking out or saying anything about it. And the reason that they are not, maybe, is because it has to do with the Bundys, but that should be irrelevant to you, me, or anybody else. Because we have to take a stand for each and every individual's unalienable rights. If we do not, then we agree with our rights being violated. So what has been reported, we'll put a link in the description box below. Please make sure if you like this information or this type of information being covered, please make sure you thumbs up. And if you want, go ahead and subscribe. If you want to hear more of this information, make sure you hit the notifications or you're not going to get any of my new videos. YouTube is censoring pretty, pretty good. So if you want to do that, that would be appreciated. Leave your comments in the description box below. I do read them as much as possible. I'm not always able to respond to them, but I do try. So Navarro gets dramatic in the Bunkerville courtroom. That's what's being reported right now. Monday marked the first full day of jury deliberations and the first of three trials being held in Las Vegas. Six men are on trial for their roles in the Bunkerville protest with Clive and Bundy in 2014. After five plus weeks of government presenting their case with over 35 witnesses, the defense was not allowed to present the case they originally planned. They had attempted to call 30 witnesses, but Judge Navarro did not allow some of them, and most were threatened with prosecution if they testified. They ended with about two days of their case. Now, I want to also make that clear. Judge Navarro, there was witness tampering, there was witness intimidation going on. Um, they are really, really worried on the federal end that they are going to lose this. And they have a good justifiable reason because not only were the BLM agents out of control and this was nationwide news, but in Oregon, if you remember October 27, 2016, Ammon Bundy, Ryan Bundy, and the other defendants there were found not guilty as well when it came to the Malheur Wildlife Refuge. So they are really stacking the deck and we need to do all we can do to make people aware of what is going on your rights my rights 
are being attacked. My children, my grandchildren's rights are being attacked through this one specific case. Eric Parker was the only defendant to testify, and that was due to his belief that it would be the only way that Navarro would allow their side to be told. The jury sent questions back to the court with Judge Gloria Navarro promptly sealed from the public's view. The public was, however, allowed to hear the court consider their responses to the jury. It was possible to get a general idea of what the questions involved. It seems the jury had hypothetical questions pertaining to the possibility of a hung jury. This means that they do not have a consensus on all of the 60-plus charges the defendants are facing. Judge Navarro was concerned enough that the jury was considering all of the possible implications that at one point she threw her arms wide, bringing them slowly back together. She said that they need to guide the jurors back down to a more narrow point of view as they could be looking at sentencing implications and other extremes. Navarro still seems to be most likely concerned with the prospect of jury nullification. Yes, you should be. It is their right, it is their duty to nullify anything that is unconstitutional and unlawful. The prosecutors also talked about the probability of a hung jury. It would seem that the court, Navarro and government prosecutors are concerned that the jurors are looking at more than the government's case. There appear to be some jurors that do not agree with the court's narrative. Good, because the dirt jury, the duty of the jury is to hear the facts of the case and to protect the people from the government overreach. The jurors continue their second day of deliberations on Tuesday. I will leave a link in the description box below. I hope you've enjoyed this report. I try to keep you updated as much as possible. And as always, please remember, watch your backs. Check your facts and Semper Fidelis.